Well, thankfully, no one was hurt in this, but this all prompted the school to go on lockdown for about two hours while deputies investigated. To see this what's happening here at school. It's getting out of control. Neighbors near Linwood High School noticed a lot of sirens nearby as Snohomish County Sheriff's deputies responded to a morning road rage incident. Heard a lot of cops running up and down North Road. Uh, it's about a little bit before eight, maybe. And it's unusual to have that many show up in this vicinity at one time. A victim reported a teen girl pointed a gun at them, then drove into the school parking lot where deputies detained her. They also reported seeing what looked to be parts of an assault rifle on the floorboard of the teen suspect's car. Are you concerned about kids bringing those types of weapons to school? Oh, yeah, because like I said, we live right next door. A shot could go wild and hit a neighbor working out in the yard or another kid walking through the parking lot. The teen's car and backpack were both taken into evidence to be searched. And officials with the sheriff's office say the 16-year-old high school student was taken into custody. Well, yeah, it's against the law. I mean, they're under 21 or, you know, 18. But high school kids, you know, there's all kinds of stupid stuff. Kids and guns, I mean, the law doesn't stop them, does it? <laughs> <laughs> the Snohomish County Sheriff's Office says this is not the first time they responded to the high school this year. In March, three juveniles were detained as deputies investigated a stolen car found on campus that had been used in a crime. And in May, the school was also put on lockdown after a suspicious man was seen walking around campus. It doesn't surprise me. Not anymore. It just, it's, like it says, it's getting worse. And at this point, it still has not been shared by investigators how exactly the student got that gun. Reporting live in Snohomish County, Lynn Ann Wynn, Como News.